He looks tired. Not like you were up last night changing his diaper every hour on the hour. Not now, Marie. I can't do this every morning. I'm guessing you couldn't find anything in classifieds today, huh? Marie, I'm working on the job thing as we speak. No, Ray. You see, that's exactly what you're not doing. In fact, I haven't seen your ass get off that couch since you got released. What's it been, three months since you got out? Ray, I need you to work with me, baby. No, I work for you, Murray. Do you realize that all the corners I've cut in my life, all the things I've done on those streets, where did it get me? 16 months at Stark County Correctional. You need to get out and try harder. We aren't kids anymore, Ray. You need to man up and live in the real world now. I saw in the paper there's an ad for a line cook position up at Sebastio's. It's advertised as background friendly. How does that sound? Well, you know, I actually already got a gig. Heavy lifting and shit. Uh, I think it's a moving gig or something. Okay, good. Mm. But why didn't you tell me? How'd you find it? Terry scored the gig. Oh my god. Don't you learn anything? This is the same Terry who fucked you over, right? Hey, maybe he's changed. He said he got this gig on parole. Don't give me those eyes. I think it'll be okay, all right? He was able to buy a new apartment with his earnings. Seriously, it sounds better than some fry cook's chump change. I, I know it's not the best, okay? But. Hey, we gotta get out of here. Okay, so look, I'll, I'll text you how my day goes. Call me if you need anything, all right? I love you. You ugly prick. Yeah, yeah. How you doing, Terry? Been a long time. Jesus, man. Take it easy with the hair grease. Especially with the cig. What are you trying to do? Start a fire? I haven't seen you in how long? And all you got for me is insults on my treatment. I'm just saying, you look like a stunt double from Polly Wanda. <laughs> Fuck you. Guess a guy can't try new things without getting burned. <laughs> so what have you been up to since you got up? Oh, uh, nothing much, man. Uh, just going stir crazy, sitting on my ass all day with the wife and kid. Well, kid. <laughs> Get out of here. You're a father now. That's great, man. And you got another one on the way. Jesus. You're a lucky man, right? You're a lucky man. I don't know, man. It's kind of scaring the hell out of me, you know, another mouth to feed. No, you got it all wrong, Ray. Children are one of the few things that can make this life worth living. You can never have too many children, too much family. You got a family, Terry? Yeah. That's nice. You wanna smoke? No, I, I quit. <laughs> Thanks, though. La dee da! Family Man Ray has ascended above the filth and profane. Never took you for a priest. Well, I don't think you know anything about me, Terry, and if I'm being honest, how my priorities should be weighed, so... Smoke up, bud. Enjoy it for me. Nice. Alright. Go easy on me. What's going on with you, huh? Where's this coming from? Did I remind you how we left things off? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. Piss-poor planning. 
I should have saw the squad car pull up before we made the move. That's why I'm making it up to you now, all right? I, I promise it'll be worth it. Which reminds me, we gotta stop for some tools. Wait, I thought you said this was a moving gig or something. Why do we need tools? No appreciation. Typical. I, I'm trying to do right by you and your family. It, it's a house call. Just doing our jobs, you know? It won't hurt grabbing some tools. You gonna bust my balls some more or what? I swear to God, Terry, you do anything that takes me away from my family and I'll beat you over with a rubber hose. <laughs> This is our aisle. Just need one thing, it turns out. Toy aisle? What is this, Terry? What are we doing here, man? All right, we don't actually need anything. I just wanted to get this for my daughter. A pumpkin carver? <laughs> Terry, it's the middle of March. <laughs> Go easy on me, father of the year. I can't afford iPads and Barbies, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, man, just, just get me to work. Good work ethic. I like that. Nice place. Looks empty though, you sure this is it? <laughs> Most definitely. Uh, by the way, we gotta go into the back. Yeah, all right. You got a knock or shut up a minute, will you? You gotta be kidding me, Terry. I know this was too good to be true. You're a whoa, fucking whoa. liar. Take it easy, man. Keep your voice down. Are you trying to blow this? Terry, you're a fucking curse. You told me this was a legitimate gig. Oh, I never said it was legitimate. I said I was making good money, but I would never stray that far from the truth. You know what? I'm not doing this with you again, okay, you moron? I'm out of here. No, don't do that, okay? Come on, I know I messed up the first time, but this is my chance to pay it forward to you, man. You gave me a chance at first, and I blew it. I know, but... Let's just do this and move on with our lives, huh? Terry, breaking into a house isn't exactly the fucking way to clear your conscience! Wait, listen to me, man. I need you for this one, okay? I swear to God, one and done. You do this with me and I'll never ask you to work with me again. Just a little money for me and a little money for you, and that's the end of it. Fine. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> do it. Okay. 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 Let's just let's just do it. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Remember what I said I'm gonna do to you if you get me away from my family yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. Something about a rubber hose. I get it. Just in case of any nanny cams. Yeah, I got the, I got what you like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the 
potato, and I got the expensive ones too. You know, the little purple ones. Uh-huh. Yeah. And the Irish butter. Yep. Yep. Of course. Of course I got the good cut of the steak. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Because you know I know what you like. <laughs> yeah. Baby, I don't think that new air freshener you got is good. Stuff smells like cigarettes and ragu. Ugh! No, no, baby. Terry, God, I should have left when I had the chance. Oh, I'm driving. Uh, I'm sorry, all right? I fucked up. I, I swore the guy came home at 5.30. How was I supposed to know he was going to get home early? I, I've been casing the place and I had a plan to No, it. don't act like you had a plan for this, man. You, you are an imbecile. You are a fucking curse, Terry. A curse. All right, I, I'm sorry. What more do you want from me? I'm sorry. You know what they say that you should surround yourself with people you aspire to be? Get the fuck out of here, man. What are you, like 30? You can surround yourself with whoever you want. You're a grown-ass man. Well, I doubt I'll be free enough to surround myself with the desirable types because of your multiple mishaps, you greasy fucking bastard. Right. You said your piece. Jesus Christ. You need to get out of this life, Terry. I mean, where are your priorities? Think about your family, if not for yourself. Yeah, I got it. Get your shit together, man. You're a good guy, and I know you're just trying to do right by your people, but <laughs> I think it's best for both of us if I don't fall into that category, you know? Hey, give me one second. Let me get something for you, okay? Here, man. I circled all the ones that said background friendly. Hey, I know it sucks, but you gotta go alone to get along, right? I hope I never see you again. And I mean that with love. Okay? 